So welcome back to another episode of Ask the Hammer with Jeffrey Levine of Buckingham Wealth Partners. Jeffrey, you ready for some tough ones today? All right, let's do it. All right. I want you to know that I brought along not one, not two, Whoa. but three hammers today. Ooh, this is getting serious. <laughs> Very serious. So my collection is, is building. They're finding them all over the house. I love but, it. So here goes. Um, I'm doing some estate planning. I have an inherited IRA, and I have named my children as the beneficiaries. What are the distribution rules for them should I die? It's a really good question. Unfortunately, there's no way for us to say for sure 100% what the answer is there because we just don't know enough about the specifics of this particular situation. Uh, notably, this year, beginning this year, a lot of people begin to be impacted by what's called the SECURE Act, right? The Setting Every Community Up for Retirement Enhancement Act that was passed late last year. And while we have a, uh, the stretch that is still available if this person, let's say, inherited prior to uh, the beginning of 2020, if they inherited sometime this year in 2020, it's likely that they are subject to the new 10-year rule. And so what happens is if that 10-year rule is currently applicable to the beneficiary right now, to the individual asking this question, and they pass away within that 10-year time frame, then their successor beneficiary or the beneficiary's own beneficiary, as it were, uh, is able to finish out the balance of that 10 years. So let's say uh, that inherited IRA was inherited from the individual's mother and it was passed to them and they live seven more years and then they pass away. Well, their kids would have three years, the balance of the 10 year cycle in order for them to distribute that money. Now, on the other hand, if this was an inherited IRA from someone who died prior to the SECURE Act, so someone who died in 2019 or earlier, or if that individual who asked the question happens to be what is known as an eligible designated beneficiary. Uh, that could be a spouse, a disabled individual, someone who's chronically ill, someone who is not more than 10 years younger than the original decedent, or a minor child, which clearly is not applicable in this case. Uh, those five categories are somewhat, if you might think of it as exempt from the 10 year rule that applies in the SECURE Act, and they are continually eligible to stretch distributions. Now, when those types of beneficiaries pass away, individuals who are stretching distributions, the successor beneficiary, once again, the beneficiary's own beneficiary, they get their own new 10 year rule. So in all likelihood, if this is a 2020 beneficiary, that individual is subject to the 10 year rule. There may be that exception if they're an eligible designated beneficiary, but those are the only ways for the beneficiaries to get their own 10 year rules. It's just very complicated right now because we're right in the change between the old law and the new law. And so there are beneficiaries from before 2020, beneficiaries from after 2020. You've got regular beneficiaries. You've got this special group of eligible designated beneficiaries. So we would need more information to say for certain, uh, but that's a great question that should be discussed with a, a solid financial or tax professional and, or, you know, just get back to us with the, the precise, uh, you know, the specifics. Who are you? Tell us a little bit about yourself. And when was this inheritance? Uh, when, when did you inherit the account? All the specifics in these questions matter, Bob, which is why, uh, you know, so often when it comes to tax planning, it seems like a very simple question. And the question is probably very simple, but it's the answer that's complicated, right? It's, it's 17 questions that have to be asked back and get more information just to be able to definitively answer the one quote unquote simple question that was asked to begin with. Yeah, I think in this case, the devil is in the details. And, uh, and I think I'm gonna have to give you at least one hammer because you mm -hmm. answered it to the best of your ability. And hopefully this person now can go back and gather some more information and talk to the right people. And maybe we can even help them if they write back. Absolutely.